بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about basic course of upper abdominal anatomy and I will start with the liver as we see here on the left side of the screen we have the scout and we have the lines numbered across two images and from one to ten and this is the upper abdomen scout x-ray and here this is the lip this is the axial cut of the CT scan. Today I will discuss the liver. As we see here, this is the liver. And in the next slide, we see the liver here. And the third slide, we see the liver here. And the fourth slide, we see the liver here. And the fifth, we see the liver here. Six. We see the liver here, and 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 the tenth star. This is the inferior ball of the liver. As we know, the liver consists of four lobes: the right lobe, left lobe quadrate lobe and the quadrate lobe. The right lobe is the largest one and occupied the right above quadrant. The inferior margin of the liver may be palpated, as we see here in the abdominal examination. The left lobe of the liver is much smaller than the much smaller and than the right one. Blood supply to the liver is coming from the portal vein in about 75% of cases, uh, percent of uh, blood supply and 25% it is coming from the uh, hepatic artery. This is the liver, this is the largest organ in the body and it is secrete the bile salts and bilirubin into the bile ducts. And these uh, bile ducts in the liver, we cannot see it unless it is, it is dilated. The liver is uh, covered by thin capsule called uh, a glycerin capsule and if there is enlargement of the liver or there is any mass lesion causing stretching of the capsule it will cause pain. The caudate lobe as we see it is here in the caudate lobe it is the functionally part of the right lobe and left lobe and it is receive its blood supply from right and left hepatic artery the quadrate lobe it is receive supply from the left hepatic artery and therefore functionally part of the left lobe because of the very vascular organ, the liver can be a source of massive bleeding in a patient who has sustained blood trauma and especially the the right lobe if there is trauma in the right upper quadrant. As we see here again, this is the 
liver, and this is the gallbladder, and here this, near the gallbladder, this is the ascending colon, and here we have a transverse. This is the stomach, and we have here. This is the descending colon, and we have this is here. This is the pancreas, and here we have this is the bottle vein. And we have here this is the IVC, and this is here. This is the aorta, and this is the right adrenal gland and left adrenal gland, and this is the spleen. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.